So what character are we going to draw for week two, starting with the letter B? It's time to enter the drawing dojo and find out. How you doing everybody and welcome to Ninja Tunes, where the martial arts meets the creative arts. I'm Michael Voog, the Art Ninja, and today we're going to be drawing Baymax, starting with the letter B from Big Hero 6. Okay, so we're on week two in the new year, and today we're going to be drawing Baymax from Big Hero 6, starting with the letter B. So as before, before we draw anything, we want to do the first step in the five steps of creativity, and that's stretch. So don't forget, we have Captain America, stretch out those shoulders. We have Iron Man. We have Batman, so twist that upper body. We have Superman to stretch out your sides. We have Wonder Woman, rotate your wrists in both directions. We also have Spider-Man, so stretch out the forearms. And then we have Buzz Lightyear, stretching the top of the forearm. And then we also have Thor, just rotating those shoulders forwards and backwards, getting loosened up. Because remember, activity stimulates creativity. So step number two is to think about Baymax. We want to think before we draw. So think about Baymax shapes. What lines do you think we're going to be using to draw him today? He's a very round character, so probably a lot of C curves and a lot of circles. Now step number three in the five steps of creativity is sketch not carve. So when we start to sketch Baymax today, remember to press lightly and loosely, barely seeing that drawing on your paper. So we're both probably gonna make some mistakes today, and that's okay. Just remember to sketch, not carve. By pressing lightly on the paper, we'll refine our drawing later, and then after our cleanup, you'll be coloring over those mistakes so nobody will even notice. Okay, so Baymax starts with the letter B. Now as you notice, when I'm sketching this, I'm gonna start with a C curve and the top of my B is going to be larger than the bottom half of my B. Normally when we write the letter B, the top part of the B is smaller, but in this case, we're gonna make it reverse. Now the next step is we have to draw the reverse side or the other side of Baymax. So I'm gonna use a C curve And what that ends up doing is making almost like this upside down snowman. We have a large oval at the top and a smaller oval at the bottom. Next, we're going to draw on Baymax's head. So Baymax has a small head compared to the size of his body. So we're going to draw a small circle. And then remember the two important lines on the head. You have your eye line and you have your center line. After we draw in his head, the next thing we're gonna draw in is some more circles. Now this is where we have to draw the other side of him. And because his body is turned, we're only going to see a half circle on the other side. Next, we're gonna draw in his forearm. And then on the other side, we're going to use a straight line a C curve and another straight line, almost like a shark fin. Now, one thing you want to notice when you do this is to make sure that the bottom of both of these shapes, both of his forearms are almost in line with each other. Now we're going to continue with these oval shapes by drawing his thigh. And then on the other side, we're going to be mimicking what we did with his forearm by drawing a straight line, a C curve, and we're almost making that shark fin again. 
Next, we're gonna draw the bottom of his leg. And this is gonna be a larger base using two straight lines and a C curve because he needs to support that big body. So we're gonna use an S curve here. Remember an S curve is two C curves that come together. We have to connect his shoulder to his forearm. And then inside of his forearm, we're gonna draw another oval. This is gonna be a smaller oval, and this is gonna represent his fist. And then we're gonna draw his other fist right here, which is a circle. Okay. Now let's go back on top to his head. And we're gonna draw in like antennas on his helmet. And then we're gonna create actually his mask shape. Now to do this, I want you to draw these two sideways V's and you're gonna connect that with a C curve at the top and these angled lines at the bottom. Now what we did at the bottom of his helmet is we're gonna do the same thing along his upper body. So a line across his chest. This would represent more of his torso or midsection. And then we have to do the same thing here at the bottom. Now let's continue with that same idea by drawing his kneecaps. So by drawing two straight lines, one straight line on the upper leg, one on the lower leg, by combining them with more straight edges, you get this hexagon shape. On the other side, we're seeing more of a profile. Now on the bottom of his leg, we have to draw the contour, which is the C curve over his toe. And we have to do the same thing on the other foot. And then because we're seeing a profile of his foot, we're gonna draw in his heel. Now Baymax also has these pretty awesome wings. So on each side of his shoulders, we're gonna draw an angle line up and it's gonna be coming down. What you wanna do is make sure that you have the size right for his wings. It's not important that you get the line perfect. Just sketch it in where you think it should be. And now I can finish up with some details. You'll see that uh, oval that I just drew in there. He also has a button on his chest. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a little more contour for Baymax on his abdomen. Now let's add a little bit of detail to his fist. What I want you to do on his, on his left fist, which is on our right side of the paper, is you're gonna draw the letter Y. On the other hand, remember that letter J that we drew with Aang? Same idea. Okay, now on Baymax's wings, we're gonna draw a horizontal line across to create this triangle. And remember between his eyes, he has that line connecting his eyes. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a little more contour for Baymax on his abdomen on his chest. Then he also has it down here on his hips and on his legs. Okay, see I'm sketching this lightly. I'm not concerned about drawing a perfect line. What I'm concerned about is I'm comparing one side of my drawing to the other to make sure the shapes are relatively the correct size, and I'm making modifications as I continue my drawing. But then, just like Thanos, he does have his knuckles. It's not the Infinity Gauntlet, but he does have some knuckle shapes. 
Okay, that looks great. Now that's the sketch of Baymax. Remember, that's step three in the five steps of creativity. I wanna make sure that my shapes are relatively close to what I'm looking for here, and I've refined my drawing such that all I need to do now is just trace what I've put down on paper. So that goes to step four, which is clean up or inking our drawing. All right, now I'm gonna speed up this drawing and I want you to pay close attention to the line quality. Remember, during the cleanup stage, you've already done your initial sketch, so all you're doing is tracing the lines. So you wanna be hyper-focused on your quality of line. While you're putting the line down, take your time. You don't wanna rush this. Now, in some of the lines I'm drawing, you'll notice that there's different thicknesses. I'll have some lines that are thick, and those are usually used for defining a large shape or a specific shape, whereas some of my lines may be a little bit thinner, and that's more for the details. You don't want to distract your viewer using thick lines on details that take away from the overall shape and dynamic pose of your character. Now, another line you may see me draw is a tapered line, and that's going from a thick line to a thin line, and that's definitely something that you'll want to practice. So I would probably guess the majority of my time is spent on sketching my character out, not on cleanup. And the reason I say that is during the sketch phase, I'm experimenting, making sure I have a dynamic pose, looking at the different shapes, the silhouette, and making sure all the details are there for the character before I go into the cleanup. During the cleanup phase, I'm just super focused on making sure that my line quality is correct for what I'm drawing. And so that allows me just to trace essentially instead of guessing where that line's gonna go. Now the last step is step five. So we're gonna be adding color. And for Baymax, all you'll need is red, purple, and black. Now when you're coloring Baymax, the one thing I want you to focus on is trying to color in the same direction. What I mean by that is you're probably old enough that you're not scribbling anymore. So scribbling means you're just coloring really fast all across the paper, trying to fill in a specific shape but you have all different pressure sensitivity on how hard you're pressing down on the pencil and it's just going in all different directions. It looks like you're scribbling. So a lot of areas are missed. Some colors are darker, some are lighter, uh, and you miss when you're going fast, staying within those edges. You're gonna take it slowly, coloring in the same direction, trying to keep the same pressure sensitivity as you're working your way across Baymax. Now, if you're right-handed, I would recommend that you start in the upper left corner and work your way down to the lower right corner so that your hand's not smearing the colors. And if you are drawing with your left hand, we'll start in the upper right corner and then color down to the lower left corner. Now, when you're coloring Baymax, I would also recommend that you press just a little bit harder than you did when you were sketching him. But you don't wanna to press too hard. If you press down too hard on your paper, you can't go backwards. So by coloring lightly, you can always press a little bit harder to add shadows later. So that's it for how to draw Baymax starting with the letter B. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and got something out of each of those steps and you're picking up little tips along the way as you watch each video. Now you'll have an opportunity to share with me what character you'd like me to draw next week starting with the letter C. So what you need to do is go on into the comment section below, type in your suggestion, and then I'll pick one of your suggestions for next week. Now if you like this video, you know what to do. Make sure you strike that like button. And if you're not a subscriber yet, well, smash that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell in the upper right-hand corner to all so that anytime we release new content, you won't miss a single video. So until next time, remember your ABCs. Always be creating. Make it a great day and stay tuned for more videos. Domo arigato. Now, I would probably guesstimate that the majority of my time is spent on the sketch phase, step three in the five steps. Now, when you're coloring Baymax, the one thing I would... Now, when you're coloring Baymax, the one thing I would like you to focus on is making sure you're... Co so, to do that, you know what you need to do. Make sure you... Stro button and then ring the notification bell in the upper right-hand corner so that you'll be notified anytime we... Okay, that looks awesome.